On today's Toy Spot, we're having a look at the NECA Toys Robocop 3 Jetpack Robocop. Amazed the fact that uh, we've got ourselves another Robocop coming was from the folks over at NECA Toys. But above and beyond that, I'm really thrilled to see that we're getting a Robocop with a jetpack. Yes, of course, Robocop 3 was the worst of all three Robocops. It uh, had aspects to it that I didn't mind. I thought that the guy that they picked to replace Peter Weller, who didn't want to come back and do Robocop 3, but the guy who I don't know if you actually know this, but the guy who played Robocop th in Robocop 3 was the same guy that was in Stephen King's Thinner. He was the guy that was uh, that had the thin uh, curse put on him. I thought he was actually a pretty good Robocop. That was about the only thing I liked about Robocop 3. The rest of it was garbage. Uh, but it's really neat, though, that NECA came back and approached another Robocop figure... But instead of just giving us, you know, uh, an extra weapon, in this case, he's got like the, it looks like the Cobra Assault uh, rifle. You know, above and beyond just giving us that, they also gave us a jetpack. And that is really cool. Uh, Packaging-wise, uh, it looks like it's the same packaging that we got with the previous Ro Robocop figures. On the back of the package. Yes, the Cobra Assault Cannon. Removable jetpack and interchangeable left forearm. Down below also, this Robocop still features the holster, uh, the holster that pops open on the side of the leg, which was in the, uh, I guess technically the third released Robocop from NECA, because the, the, you had the original release Robocop, then you had the battle damage Robocop, and then you had the, the holster Robocop. Um, which is actually somewhat funny, because, uh, because this is actually a different actor, it's interesting that it looked like they used the same mold, but... Again, Robocop, you're only really going to see like the mouth, so I, I can still, that makes still perfect sense to me. Uh, I've been really, uh, you know what, truth be told, uh, when I found out that this figure was going to be produced by NECA, I couldn't wait to get it. And uh, having said that, I can't wait to get this actually opened up, so I'm going to take a break, going to get this opened, and when we come back, we're going to get a better look at Robocop 3 Jetpack Robocop. There's more anyway, guys. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. Out of packaging, Robocop comes with a multitude of different accessories, but before we have a look at those, we'll just put the accessories quickly to the side. Let's have a look at the figure itself. Now, first glance, first glance, it is actually the exact same figure that we've gotten before. They haven't changed anything out to him, except for one thing, except for one small and yet noticeable thing that I really am happy with. We bring in the original Robocop. Now, for the purpose of this, I wanted to bring in the holster version of Robocop so you can see it is the exact same figure. The difference really being, for me, is the coloring. And depending on who you talk to, some people prefer the silver version of Robocop, the original version of Robocop from the first movie. I personally have always been a huge fan of the blue Robocop, the Robocop that we got from Robocop 2. And I remember when we first got the initial uh, Robocop toy from NECA, I loved the piece, but I kept thinking in the back of my mind, you know, as a simple repaint, if they wanted to reuse the mold, I wish they would actually re-release them in the blue coloring that we got from Robocop 2. Uh, you know, it would be a, you could easily have just put it on the top of the packaging, Robocop 2, uh, you know, given us something, a couple of things of Nuke, maybe from Robocop 2. Bada bing, bada boom, you could have had a brand new figure. Uh, NECA really gave us one better by giving us the inclusion of the jetpack, the Cobra Assault cannon, and then, of course, the side gun uh, for Robocop. But really, at the end of the day, like, I'm, ha I'm happy. If I was just to walk away now, and this was the only thing that came in the packaging... I would be happy just the fact that the new paint scheme gives us a blue Robocop. And I almost feel like maybe they might have scaled him back a little bit more for Robocop 3. Maybe he wasn't as blue for Robocop 3. But I, I've always loved the blue coloring on Robocop much more than the silver. That, that's just me. That's, that's my preference. 
But figure-wise, though, it is the exact same figure. In fact, the original holster Robocop, as you remember, there was a button on the back. And you press that, and his holster would open up, revealing the Auto 9 inside. Uh, same, same exact gimmick is carried over into this Robocop. Again, that button is on the back section of his leg. You kind of push it up, uh, revealing the leg holster uh, opening up here. And inside, it's not super easy to get to, but inside is his Auto 9 uh, pistol. And you kind of have to get your finger in there just to kind of lift it off of the ledge that it's on. But, there we go. You pull out the Auto 9, and you can put it into Robocop's hand. The one hand has a trigger finger, so you can get that the finger around the trigger. And, uh, you know, you can have Robocop in a really stoic-looking pose. And that, that's a great way to display him. Holster open. Auto 9 in hand, but you can like see really the paint has been, I think, really super, uh, superbly improved from what we got with the original. Like, even in his middle lower torso section, it's a nice shiny black, uh, whereas this black had the sheen to it, but I think it, it presents itself a lot nicer with the Jetpack Robocop instead. So, like, right there, right there at spot can look at all the other stuff that comes with this Robocop, but really, at the end of the day, I'm just happy that we got ourselves a blue Robocop. Um, but to take his gun, now, to get his gun back, it's a little harder. You see that there's a little ledge right there, and there's that little clip. That clip sits inside where the trigger of the gun is, so you have to put the gun on an angle, and then get it underneath, and you want it right there. See how you can get that clip to clip onto the trigger of the ed of the uh, the Auto 9. And with that in place, you'll only want to push the front. Don't push the side here. Only push the front to close the, uh, to, to close the leg section. And you want to also make sure, too, that the handle gets actually in there. Because I've had a couple of times, especially with the other Robocop, where that handle kind of gets stuck. You don't want to push the leg and you don't want to put too much resistance against it. Um, but there you have Robocop. There you have Robocop. Now, articul articulation is the exact same as well as the uh, the original here also. So he does have a ball joint in the head, uh, which moves very easily. He has ball joint shoulders. M more like a ball hinge socket, I should say. It moves out slightly to about there. It rotates all the way around. He has a hinge uh, in the elbow, and uh, it, I thought initially it swiveled, but he actually has a swivel in the hand, and that's really also due to this piece coming out, but I'll show you that in a second. He has an upper torso uh, ball joint, and then his legs are also on that pin hinge socket too, so they rotate out to really about there. That's about it. And then the legs go forward and back. He has a uh, bend at the knee. Doesn't swivel or anything like that, but then it also does have a ball hinge socket in the foot. And also let me draw your attention to the back piston. Same with the original Robocop figures, as that like that foot moves up and down, you can see the piston going in and out there. Again, really nice touch. I like it. So, uh, as it goes for like Robocops, yeah, I'm already super thrilled that we got blue Robocop here. Just get him posed, like so. And then that really brings us to like all the other accessories that he comes with. Because, I mean, really, the add-ons make this figure a, a must-have also. Even if I'm, I'm, even if the fact it's the blue has sold me on this figure, the other add-ons also add to that as well. The one, the one add-on, I guess, uh, not necessarily one I'm going to have Robocop displayed with, but I, I love the fact that they included this, is the Cobra Assault Cannon, which I think actually makes more so an appearance in the beginning, uh, well, near the end of the first movie, where Clarence Boddicker and all his guys are uh, get their hands on the Cobra Assault Cannons, and they're blowing up poor Detroit. And uh, it, it, it's certainly a sight to see Robocop then again, I think comes back to OCP to go after Dick Jones and... Uh, 
brings, of course, one of these bad boys with him to stop the Ed 209 at the stairwell. It, it, it's a nice looking piece. I think the only downside I would say to the piece is the the, the struts, the little top front pieces of the gun here. This hinge, you got to be careful when you're moving it because I find you move it back, it pops out of that little that little area here. It's a strong enough plastic, but I would still be very careful that that doesn't get that doesn't break on you. So just be very careful when moving this section here. When in doubt, you know, move it to the area that you want, and then I would suggest probably clipping it into place. Some nice paint in the front there and the view screen. There's actually even like little buttons down below there as well that are painted both yellow and red. It's a nice piece. It's really, really a nice piece. Uh, Robocop also does come with this gun cannon. It's, again, it's one of the joys of Robocop 3. It's like they, uh, it's like they took a Robocop that was inferior by plot and they filled it in with all this extra stuff like gun cannon hands and jet packs and stuff like that. Uh, it's awesome that NECA included it, but I mean, again, Robocop 3 is such a bad movie. Now, to change this, uh, he doesn't come with the interface, he doesn't come with the interface link that the other Robocops came with, but take that hand and unpeg it, and you kind of have to just rotate, rotate the hand as you're kind of pulling it. That hand off, and just grab the gun attachment here and snap it into place. I'm just trying to think, I think it actually goes that way. Now it's a very, very tight ball joint. So you know, getting it on, getting it off might not be the easiest, but at least the front cannon section here is a rubbery plastic. So I don't have any worries that that's gonna break off or anything like that. But you get something that looks like that. A little ridiculous, perhaps. Like I said, Robocop's not one of the more stellar sequels of Robocop's. Robocop movies. At least it's better than the Canadian Robocops. I didn't think those were good at all. But they have Robocop with his little arm attachment. Still, I'm more interested in just having him with the regular hand. But uh, a nice touch. A nice touch again. Like, even even if I don't like Robocop 3, I, I still love Robocop. And I'm so happy that NECA is producing Robocop figures. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. We got ourselves an ED 209. We've got in our, ourselves, what, four Robocops now? I'm hoping that NECA's gonna see the potential and give us uh, like an actual Robocop 2. The Kane Robocop 2, with all the little arms and the extra guns and stuff like that. I'd be so, so happy if we got ourselves a Robocop 2. The final attachment, the final accessory that comes with the Robocop is the jetpack and I mean, it's it's an absolute work of art, if you ask me. Now, factoring in the fact that really the jetpack would sit on Robo like that, this technically didn't even really need to be sculpted. They could have actually just left this completely vacant of detail because you really weren't going to see it anyways. But again, like you can see, like NECA really goes above and beyond to give us a, an accurate version of a movie prop scaled down to a six inch form. So like above and beyond the silver, which is looks like it's been washed with uh, a couple of extra, extra, uh, darker grays almost to give it like a weathered look to it. They've painted all the wires, the red, the yellow, like all the little areas, this area here that's in the lighter silver. It's just such a beautiful looking piece. And he's got the thrusters on the underside. I see all the underside yellow there on the arms like the little hazard yellow and black stripes on the hands, on the handles there. It's, again, such a beautiful looking piece. Now these pieces do move out very, very, very a little, but they do move out. Then you're gonna take a Robo, and it doesn't clip anywhere, which is good because it would ruin the sculpt, uh, but it just clips onto his shoulder area here kind of just wedges on, I guess, really, I should say, to his shoulder area there, just like that. And you'll see, actually, too, where it's been sculpted. 
it sculpts so it, it contours around his back. And you just kind of pose his head and bend his arms. And then you're going to take these little areas here and at least they're a pliable enough rubber, like a rubbery plastic, that you can kind of just, just kind of manipulate them around the hands of Robocop. This one, I find this arm's a little more difficult, but you can get it inside Robocop's arms, just like so. And you get something that looks like that. And then from there, you know, just adjust Robocop's arms fittingly to make sure everything's looks good. And there you have Robocop with his jetpack. Jetpack didn't bother me. It, surprisingly, jetpack didn't bother me, I think, as much as this bothered me. I didn't, just did not like this in the movie. I also didn't also like the, uh, the robotic samurais that he was fighting. I thought that was kind of ridiculous, too. But jetpack, I thought, was pretty cool. Um, I like, because I like Robocop in the blue, I might even be willing just to kind of give the jetpack maybe to the lighter silver Robocop and keep blue Robocop on his own. That's just how much I love the blue coloring on Robocop. Um, but I, again, like it, it kind of goes to say that because NECA is doing such amazing pieces and they're giving us all these extra accessories, like this Robocop especially, it makes you really want to go and pick up a couple of them. Maybe have one Robocop with the jetpack. You can maybe give Robocop, the other Robocop, uh, like the arm attachment. There's so many different ways that you can display this piece. But really, at the end of the day, you're still getting a phenomenal looking Robocop piece. Whether you have them with the, the jetpack, whether you have them with the Cobra Assault Cannon, or whether you have them with the somewhat more ridiculous Arm Cannon, he's still an incredible sight to be seen. It also goes to show, too, that you can still make use of a mold that we've seen before, and you package it with other accessories, a new paint scheme, and you've got yourself a winning figure in hand. Uh, love. I'm so happy that, that Neck was able to produce this piece. Uh, fine, fine work. Um, I'm going to give Robocop, Jetpack Robocop here, I'm going to give him a 9. Today's Toy Spot, we were having a look at the Neck of Toys Robocop 3 Jetpack Robocop. Stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to have more Toy Spots heading your way. Thanks for watching, as you always do. See you next time.